So in my last video, I did I uh, I, I did a, a segment on a uh, a reversible bottom board, and I called it a winter configuration. With uh, one side was three quarters of an inch, one side was three eighths of an inch, and I stated that uh, that this three eighths inch hole for the winter configuration was probably a mouse guard. Uh, that mice could not get in because I used the uh, I used the defense that uh, you know I use half inch by half inch hardware cloth, and mice can't penetrate that. Uh, so three eighths of an inch, uh, they shouldn't be able to get into either with this uh, with this bottom board. Uh, I was called on this by one of my followers, a uh, good guy, and he made a very valid point. And his point, he said. That although they can't get through a half inch by half inch hole, they can get in a three eighths by one inch hole, or a three eighths in this case a three eighths by infinity, because they can essentially flatten out. Where in the half inch by half inch hardware cloth, they can't flatten out. So, I proposed to do a, an experiment, and this is what I'm doing today. I am in my garage. I have set up a box, the bottom board. And I have some birdseed that seems to be a great treat because uh, the mice love bringing birdseed into my garage and storing it everywhere I can find it. And I got poop in my garage, so I know they're in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bait this with uh, some birdseed here, and I also have this. This is my uh, my trail camera. And uh, I am going to set this to video right there and um, set this up. This has got black light on it actually so game can't even detect it. But it will even capture nighttime shots. And I'm just going to place this just a few feet away and it should be able to capture it should be able to capture mice going in and out of that uh, 3 8 inch hole or trying to so we're going to see once and for all um, if mice can penetrate that 3 8 of an inch um, so uh, stay tuned and uh, and I'll post the results in a video in this video at the end
Well, after two nights of watching this hive with the bird seed inside, uh, it was clear the mice could not get into that three in three eighths inch opening. However, uh, mice will uh, do not like to be deterred. So what they have started to do, and I actually, when I came in here, I th thought that was actually bird seed on the outside. What they have started to do is try to find a way in. So they started gnawing uh, on the lower board to try to make the entrance more easily accessible. They did a, quite a number on there. I'm, I might have to put some flashing or something on there, some drip edge, which is really, really cheap stuff. Um, aluminum drip edge, which would work really nice and just staple it on. Um, but my friend Dan uh, warned me that, uh, you know, if mice can't get in, they will find a way and they'll start chewing on your uh, in your lower uh, board. So, said it happened to him. So, uh, very much so. They have started, they have started gnawing away at the, uh, at the lower board there. They still didn't get in, but it's going to take a Herculean effort. But if I was to leave this in here for any length of time, they would get in eventually. And my bottom board would be destroyed. But out in the field, I, you know, boy, there would really have to be um, some serious food inside for them to uh, to want to get in that bad. Um, I've never seen bees go after honey and wax. Um, pollen frames, yeah, they'll chew those up. But what they really want to do is go in there and create a nest uh, in your hives out in the field. In here, I've got bird seed in there, and that's all they're after. Um, so, this is what we learned from the 3 8 inch opening. Uh, it does appear to be sort of a mouse deterrent, but uh, they are um, diligent little critters, and they will try their best to get in. So, till next time, happy beekeeping.